Okay, so um, a lot of people are actually having a little bit of trouble with the new Tower Trial releases, and it's been out for about a week, going on two, I think. Um, I decided to go ahead and make one of my own. Now, obviously, these Tower Trials have gimmicks to them, and they're uh, annoying, right? They're really annoying, but it's not hard. So I'll just go through it. I don't know how long this video is going to be. But um, I'll try and explain each stage like in depth. So basically, the overall thing about these stages is that they have stupid little me get, uh, mechanics that are really simple to get through, right? If you really just um, if you just think about it. So with this stage, all it is is corrosion. This first stage, right, is just corrosion. That's it. So they do hit they hit pretty hard right the corrosion is the main problem though that is it just the corrosion because it will eat your health like it actually will eat your health so you want to make sure that you're doing you know good damage it's right there they also revive as well so keep that in mind but you want to make sure you're doing good damage to them so right there we got rid of that grunt um the main villain is blue it's Golgius. so he is blue so yeah i'm about to say um sario is gonna take pretty decent damage actually like, pretty decent damage but overall i think that he's gonna perform well i think he actually is gonna perform very well um what i'm gonna do then i'm gonna rush alt with escanor hopefully i can kill this grunt i don't know because he had well no i can't kill him because he revives i was gonna say hopefully i could kill him he's gonna revive and then next turn see how much damage that the corrosion did I, i'm telling you it is a lot of damage like it, it does it does eat your health a, a lot <laughs> so that's the only unfortunate thing but i think i can take out the grunt if sorrow doesn't die yeah we're good okay i can take out the grunt here which is good um will this i think this will be enough I, I i think that'll be enough um i hope Yeah, let's just just to be safe. Okay, it was enough. Just to be safe, though, I wanted to do that because you know the death damage should take out Gogus, and we we win. And then the death damage should take him out again. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah. So that's the first stage. It's not hard at all. It's actually really simple. Um, but that's the first stage right there. So Gogus was easy as hell, right? Gogus was easy as hell. You just bring in a damage dealer and you win. But the next two stages can be a little um annoying i think honestly ruin might just be the hardest out of the three because with ruin his gimmick is that he will actually um debuff you in the start and then he also full heals along with his grunts if you don't kill them right away so it, it's a little annoying but i think honestly you can get through it again it's not you know the toughest but it can be a little annoying it can be right because you get debuffed so that's why the one esquinor helps out so much because his immunity to debuffs prevents him from being um you know obviously attack debuffed so um is this no i want to give him sario as a link for sure give him sario for the crit damage to go off and then uh i guess we could uh, nah we'll, we'll put we'll put festival king right so yeah it's annoying, but honestly, if you want to use food, I would understand why. I'm going to use crit damage food. Again, they full heal. You don't kill, they full heal. So keep that in mind. It's not like, oh, wow, like they're still, you know, they're going to take damage. Nope. You got to pretty much one shot them. That's it. That's the only thing you can do is one shot them. The good thing is they don't do damage, but I believe Ruin does get stronger if you, um, if you take out the grunts, right? He does get a lot. Like it's not even close like it's not even close he gets stronger than any unit that's on the field when he's by himself so keep that in mind at least i believe it's when he's by himself so if you you just want to play it smart you literally just want to play it smart you see they're not doing damage like i said the only problem really is the attack debuff so attacking the grunts honestly probably isn't even that big of a deal um okay so what i think i'm gonna do I'm going to merge on Escanor right here. I'm going to move a card, and I'm going to rank up Escanor. Now, you could rush Escanor or Lost Vein's ult. I genuinely don't believe it matters. But um, the thing about Escanor is that he can pretty much take out the grunts. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. But I don't know if the grunts revive. I, I 
I'm actually not sure if the grunts revive. That is one thing um, I forgot about. <laughs> if they were, uh, I'll check right now, actually, if they revive or not. So we get the, you know, obviously the second stack of Eskinor's passive, which is very, very good. So let me see. I don't, I, I'm not sure. Let me see. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I can't really check, but. All right. Well, either way, I'm going to rush Lost Vein's ult. Uh, no, no, no. I guess I can't do that, huh? I kind of have to go. Yeah, I, I have to do that. Then we'll just merge. So, yeah, there we go. Now he's immune to all debuffs, of course. Strong as hell. I don't know if we can kill the Grunt with Escanor just by himself. Maybe. Because I'm not attack, or attack debuffed. So, maybe I could take him out with the Flood card. I, I don't know. We'll see. They all have their ults. Oh, my God. Um, all right. Let's do that. Do this. And I guess we'll do that. Yeah, Eskinor helps out a lot, by the way. Um, he helps out just by a lot. Okay, so they don't revive. <laughs> wow. He just completely destroyed him. Now, see, this is the bad part. This is actually the bad part. Um, Ruin, yeah, see, he is going to get massively stronger. Um, I might have messed up. <laughs> I might have actually messed up. Because this is the part. Watch how much damage he does. Okay, that wasn't... Okay, well, that wasn't a lot, but he, he does get stronger. Trust me, he does actually get a lot stronger. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rush ult with Lost Vein. Ah, the only thing I can do is this. I'm going to rush ult with the um, with Lost Vein, of course. And you see how much he fully heals for it? Yeah, see, he fully heals. So, that's one thing you got to be careful of. This attack disable is annoying, but I think, honestly, we're still okay. Escanor might be dead. Yeah, see, the damage... That he does increases dramatically. Yeah, like it's not even close. Hopefully, we draw more uh, Lost Vein cards because that's all I can really hope for. No, okay, we don't. All right, hopefully, Lost Vein can kill because if not, I think we're screwed. This stage is tricky. The stage is actually pretty tricky. Yeah, we don't even get close. It's, it's not even close. Yeah, see, that's where the stage just gets annoying like when it does that so i'm just gonna forfeit because there's really there's there's honestly no reason to even keep going i'll do it again hopefully we get better luck um the second time around i think i messed yeah i messed up completely i misplayed because what i should have done actually what i should have done uh should i do uh, i don't have any more crit damage food i don't even have attack food do i all right well i guess we can do crit chance sure sure why not but yeah i messed up because um what i should have done and I actually probably should have just tried to kill the grunts off. And then I should have used the ultimate on Ruin. That's what I should have done. The only challenging part is that they always heal up, right? They'll always heal up to the max. So that's the only annoying thing about it. But again, like I said, it's, it's not hard. Just very annoying. Very, very annoying. So I hope this time I have better luck. So let's see what I can do. Attack disable or attack debuff. I keep saying attack disable. Wow. Attack debuff. Yeah, see, um, I don't know about any free-to-play teams. I'm sure there's a video out there for free-to-play players. Like, if you want to use, you know, obviously a free-to-play team. But this ain't that video. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. This is not that video. Uh, all right. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll merge. I feel like we're good, though. Like, for the most part, I feel like we're good. The only annoying part is if they all get alts. That's it. That's a real like big issue but besides that it's not really like all that difficult i think as i said i think honestly if i use escanor's ult on this grunt the death damage should hit ruin but even then he still has a revive we'll see actually you know i'm gonna be, i'm gonna do that i am actually probably gonna do that real quick so and do this i'm just gonna waste a i don't know i'm gonna waste a gother card and i'm gonna do that yeah, we're just going to waste the Gother card. Ruin patienced it. <laughs> he patienced it. Okay. Um, goes for... Ooh, okay. That's a real big hit on um, Lost Vein right there. That, that kind of sucks, but... I mean, it is what it is. So, like I said, the death damage should... Again, should go to Ruin and take out the revive he has. 
and then I might be able to just farm up my um ult with the one again. So let's see. But if Law's Vein dies, that is a problem. That is actually a very, very big problem. So I'm thinking just to do this. Or actually. We do that. Uh, I don't know. We just, we'll rank up Escanor. Why not? Uh, he, okay. He died. I, I did not think he was going to die. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I, I'm going to be straight. We lost. I think we might have actually lost this. Uh, the reason for that is because he completely wiped out that one grunt. I, wow, okay. So, are we at five stacks with Gothers Pass? <laughs> We're at four. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. How much HP does he have? He has 501,000. Uh, don't think I can I don't think there's anything I can actually do well okay so my only option then is probably just to do this I'm, I'm gonna use um lost veins ult I'm gonna heal up never mind I win okay so yeah the the mechanics of this stage is so wonky like this is definitely probably the toughest stage out of them all um, it's it's wonky because I literally just finished him off right and the last time I did it he did no damage so I don't understand what happened but whatever I don't I don't know um, basically what you want to do is try and go for the kill right but stage 9 so stage 9 actually is not that tough and I feel like this is the stage that most people um, are like how do you beat now I don't know why they set it up like this but basically all you want to really do is you want to go for um, the alt with Lost Vein on turn... Uh, what, who should I use? I'll use the one, right? You want to go for the alt with Lost Vein on turn three and make sure... This is very important, by the way. Very, very important. Make sure that you're going for the alt in the turn... Ooh, I'll use Elders. In the turn three, right? The third slot. Turn three, third slot. You want to make sure... You want to make sure, please, dear God, turn three, third slot, right? That's it. That's it. That's the mechanics. They do not take damage on turns one, two, and the third turn has to be the third slot. I don't know if it's like every three turns in the third slot they take damage, but I literally just beat it on turn three. So I'll... Okay. Can I be real with you guys? <laughs> um, I did cut because my blue stacks crashed i did i'm not gonna lie about that but while i was recording the first edit i actually made um an oopsies i i, I made a mistake i, I made a uh-oh right you have to and i repeat you have to use all three slots in the third turn in the third turn you actually have to use all three slots and then use a um, lost veins ult so you have to use one two and then three right so the third attack must be the ultimate with lost vein i'm actually not sure if it has to be like all lost vein attacks or if it can be sario go there and then lost vein ult but for you know the sake of this video because it's going on well for me it's 20 minutes but i lost like four minutes of uh <laughs> of footage because of the the two edits right um so i'm gonna do this now watch, you see how he's not, not doing any damage? And then the third slot, he would just easily just destroy the entire field. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this Tower of Trials. Um, it wasn't hard at all. I think that these mechanics are dumb. I, I think that they're stupid, but um, it, it wasn't hard for, you know, for many people, I don't think so. So yeah, if you're confused about how to beat the stages, there you go. But uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and uh, that's gonna be it. I'll see you next time.